What's up, Sim Racers? It's Larry TJ or Sim here. And I got the uh, Fanatic V3s right here on the left, and on the right, I got the Husenfeld Sprint pedals. And I just thought it would be neat to give a little quick comparison between the two, for especially for those uh, in, in the uh, those of my subscribers that actually have a V3 and are wanting to upgrade to the Husenfeld. Now there is actually a pretty distinctive difference in feel. I haven't put it with the test with my foot yet. Haven't mounted it up yet. But I uh, figured I'd just give a comparison of the pedal travel and force it, forces that I feel just in my hand. Because after all, this is what we always do here and uh, feel them on our hands. If you're at a show, you go out there and start pushing on things on your hand. So you will see uh, just right off the bat, geometry wise, you know, the uh, platform is a lot wider with the uh, Fanatics than it is uh, with the. Husenfeld's actually I say a lot wider. It's not terribly too wide. Let's see, you've got uh, 12 and a half inches there as opposed to 13 and a half inches uh, with the Fanatic. So you got an inch wider platform. Now if you were to turn this off sideways here, this is a comp comparison wise, you'll see the depth is quite a bit different. Uh, depth for is for the longest depth here is 13 inches on the Fanatic and if you go to the back well actually just the tray itself is 10 and 3 quarters but if you go to the very furthest back here we're looking at 13 inches so 13 inches compared to 13 inches depth wise they're really the same as far as, well, you know what? I didn't include this rod back here. So let's do that. 14 and a half inches clearance wise between the rod and the front plate, 13 inches for the Husenfeld. Uh, the base itself is, is quite a bit shorter. So that does leave you with some extra room here as far as where to mount it up on your uh, platform that you're using. So that's kind of neat uh, let's look at pedal travels here just keep in mind I'm using two fingers here fanatic I mean just pretty easy to go well I gotta hold the base plate down for the Husenfeld Husenfeld is I'm putting a lot of I can't I mean you can but it is uh, uh, Oddly enough, this feels like a toy, and these are high-end pedals, uh, or mid-range pedals I would consider Fanatic V3s. These are actually been a go-to for many people for many years, but uh, the difference is night and day between the throttle. Now, whether that's a good thing or bad thing for you, I'm not sure. I like a light throttle myself. I'm a little bit apprehensive about a heavier throttle with a Husenfeld. However, this is set on the medium setting right here, and you can go a little bit lighter with it. So. I, like I said, I'm going to play with it uh, just like it is now to see how I like it. I did put it on the floor and put my foot on it to see and it felt fine. It felt a little stiff, but all in all, it's it's uh, it's just very robust feeling. So with a Fanatic, you can hear it. Of course, these are a few years old. They tend to wear out a while. These are, there's, there's no play. And the uh, Husenfeld when you consider looking at the Husenfelds between them it just it's funny because these are just some baller pedals to me uh, with the Fanatic and I love my Fanatic products but uh, the quality difference is as good as these are this definitely feels like a step up just with a throttle alone so really interesting uh, let's look at the brake now the brake, now I have the kit in the brake, so this is as heavy of a brake as you can get. I got the hardest bushings in there. And that's pretty freaking hard uh, to push down. And the uh, thing I don't like about the Fanatics is always the grease you get in here with this. It really stays nice and oily, but that's a pretty hard pedal. Now the Husenfeld, well, it's a different Feel, to be honest with you this feels um, it feels smooth right and it progressively gets harder as you push in but you definitely can uh, seem to get more travel with these where the Husenfeld 
it's not as much travel uh, with the pedals, but it's just the same amount of force through the whole travel is what I'm feeling before I hit the stop. So, it's really interesting. Clutch now, clutch is two fingers. Really good. This has a really good resistant resistance and then it falls over, right? Uh, feel to it. So, which is nice, but <laughs> the Husenfeld clutch, well, I got to hold it down actually. It's, it's, it's probably twice as strong, but uh, you, you still feel that push over and then it goes over. Let me turn it around this way so you can see it better on the clutches. I know I had some questions on the clutch difference here. The clutch is significantly uh, harder to push in. So, Husenfeld's, then it goes over. Really stiff. I'm having to use my fist to push down on it. Now, I'll go up here high where it's a little easier, right? Uh, the Fanatics, really easy to push over. Uh, and of course, once you get your leg up there to use it, it's a different story, right? It's even easier with your foot because uh, your leg can push out. You know, you have a lot of leverage, right? When you're sitting in the driver's position. So, difference is, is night and day again with the clutch. Uh, the progressive feel when it goes over, to me, all of these clutches don't really operate exactly like a real clutch does. Because a real clutch, you always feel that pushover point, even if you go fast. You, you, you still usually feel that pushover point, where these pedals here, if you go fast, you kind of really miss that pushover point, that cam and feel. But when you go slow is when you really feel, okay, now it gives and goes over. So, it's kind of a give and take, I guess, with, as far as that goes. But I would say, though, actually, with the clutch pedal difference, as far as the feel, it, it's good twice, twice the resistance. Now, I actually have the heavy-duty springs on the Fanatic one, too, in here. So, this is as heavy as it's going to go. And this is, of course, as heavy as the clutch is going to go on this one. I thought there was an adjustment for the clutch. There is not another adjustment besides the angle. But anyway, I just want to give a quick comparison between the two. Throw this up as a separate video to my review. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, looking at these, of course, all assemble these Husenfelds. Just a work of art. Look at that. I need one of those little lazy Susans. But uh, it just reeks of quality, guys. Really good. Now, the Fanatic ones, there's no slouch in the looks department by my standards. This is the Batman one. <laughs> uh, really looks good as well. Really nice finish. But when you compare the two as far as how they feel, just between your hands, messing around with it it's quite a bit different feeling so uh, a lot more strength and throttle double the strength and clutch and the brake uh, more travel in the uh, fanatic than what you have in the Husenfeld of course that's set with the road spring setup so the road strength setup so anyway that's it hope you enjoyed it just a quick little look here at the Versus Fnatic versus Husenfeld. Who will win this battle? Alright, stay tuned for more. Catch you on the track.